Hello and welcome. I'm Darren Hermans with Cambium Networks and the Enterprise Wi-Fi Group. I'm here to talk about the new XV2-21X Wi-Fi 6 access point. Now this new AP is released alongside two companion APs, the 22H, uh, it's a wall plate AP, and the 23T outdoor access point. But you notice that the 21X is a ceiling mount AP, and we're going to focus on that one first. Let's jump right into that right now. All right, so here it is. Now, first thing I encourage you to do as soon as you get the box is to flip it over, look at the back side, and just snap that QR code right there. That's going to take you right to a website. You can download installation guides. You can download you know, pictures of installation, exactly how to do everything we're talking about here today, as well as management guides. It can all be accessed right there. So start there first. Let's go ahead and open up the box, see what's inside. First of all, we have a regulatory leaflet, which I know everybody reads, right? Of course you do. All right, next we take the bag, the AP out of its little protective plastic bag. Now you'll notice right on the AP itself, there's another protective layer. It's a plastic uh, skin on it, and that's really a fingerprint uh, protector. So once you're done with your installation, everything is all done, and your grimy fingers have been on the AP, you just simply peel off that clear plastic liner and toss that away, and then now you have a nice clean surface and everything looks wonderful. If you flip it over, on the back side, there is another QR code. Now this QR code is for the serial number, so you can easily snap that serial number and install the AP, adapt the, uh, adopt the AP right to CN Maestro. Ethernet ports, we have one. One gigabit Ethernet port there on the back in this recessed area it makes it, to, so it helps to hide uh, the cables and the, the cable, um, the Ethernet cables that connect to it. All right, let's go ahead and open up the rest of this box and see what's down here. Okay, now here we have the interesting stuff. Now this is our mounting kit. We have lots of different options here, which we're going to focus on for the remainder of our time here. Let's go ahead and take everything out. There are three parts to it. There is the actual plastic bracket, a steel plate, and a bag of miscellaneous screws and bolts and anchors and things. And th that's where we want to focus a lot on. We notice in this little baggie, there are two wall anchors. There are also two very small four millimeter tall nylon spacers, and I'll show you how we're gonna use those in just a few minutes. And then there's some, uh, some long wood screws. Here's some smaller screws for mounting, mounting it to, uh, uh, these, th these are the wall, wall screws right here, uh, wood screws. These longer screws are for junction boxes, and then one, two, three, four bolts for mounting the AP to the steel plate. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these options here. First of all, I want to show you how this bracket mounts to the AP. So what it has, it has four tabs, one, two, three, four, and there is a latch right here. The latch aligns with this slot in the base. Now to install the AP, we simply line up the four latches and then slide the AP onto the bracket just like that. And now it's on there nice and firm. If we want to remove it, and by the way, it could be removed if you put a lot of pressure on it, but you don't need to do that. If you want to remove the AP easily, we just take a flat blade screwdriver into this slot, give it a slight twist just to unlock it, and then slide the AP right off the bracket, just like that. Nice and easy. Easy on, easy off. So first of all, let's talk about, talk about the installation methods. The first one we talked about, we mentioned here are these wall anchors. So there are two wall anchors inside this little plastic baggie, and then there are two wood screws. So align the two wall anchors to uh, these keyhole slots here and just simply slide the AP onto those wall anchors. Very simple, quick and easy way to mount the AP. Now my personal favorite for ceiling mounts is the ceiling tile method. So the center of the ceiling tile specifically. Now in this case we're going to use these four, four bolts, one, two, three, four. We're going to use the steel plate and we're going to use the plastic bracket. Let's take out the steel plate here first. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to put this plate above the ceiling tile, and you're just going to simply align the four, align, just line up the plastic bracket on the other side of the ceiling tile, and run the four bolts through the plastic bracket, the ceiling tile, and into the plate. And that will lock this access point, this bracket, right onto uh, that ceiling tile. It's nice and snug. It looks really good when the installation is all done. Then, of course, as we talked about earlier, just simply slide the AP onto the plastic bracket, snaps right on exactly as you want it to. 
So that's your ceiling tile, the center of the ceiling tile installation. Now the AP also supports four different sizes of T-bars. So if we flip it over, we'll notice that, that they're labeled A, B, and C. The A pattern is the widest pattern, and that fits a 36 millimeter wide T-bar. And there's a, it's just, is a friction fit to it here. So all you do is you simply slide lock the AP onto the bracket, it, uh, the friction fit snaps this bracket onto the T-bar, so it's gonna stay firmly on that T-bar. Rotate it 90 degrees and we have a B pattern, which is a 24 millimeter, and a C pattern, which is a 14 millimeter. A, B, and C, all three of these T-bar sizes all have this slide lock mechanism that locks the AP onto that T-bar nice and secure. And then of course, once you're done, what do we do again? Well, we just slide the AP onto the bracket, just like we described already once, and the installation is done. It's complete. Now, one thing that's different is a junction box. This is kind of unique to this access point. A lot of different access point vendors will sell you a separate uh, adapter to make this installation, but Cambium actually includes it right in the same box. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at that right now. All right, here is a North America style uh, single gang junction box. Uh, these two holes here are 83 millimeters center to center, and you'll notice that there are two holes on the bracket that are also 82 millimeters center to center. Now this is where these little nylon spacers come into play, a little nylon spacer right here. So use that spacer between the plastic bracket and the junction box. So right there, put the spacer, and that keeps the plastic from flexing too much, and then drop your two screws that are included in the baggie, one, two, right to the junction box. And of course, as we talked about earlier, what do we do with the AP? We slide it onto the bracket, snaps into place. Now, that's wonderful, you say, if you live in North America or, or some other part of the world that uses this style single gang junction box, like Japan, Korea, places like that, um, South America. But what if you're in Europe or UK or one of the countries that use their style of junction box? Well, you're not out of luck. We actually have taken care of that one as well. So again, look at the plastic bracket. You'll notice there's a hole here and here, and those line up with a horizontal hole pattern found in European and UK style single gang wall plates. I believe that's 70 millimeters center to center. So again, just like we talked about, use your little plastic, little nylon spacers between the bracket and the junction box. Then the two included screws, run it right through into the junction box, and the bracket is now firmly attached to that box. And what do you do with the AP? Of course, we slide lock it right onto the plastic bracket. All right, so that's done. Now we've taken a look at all those different installation methods. Oh, but wait, before you go away, there's one more. Uh, it is an optional you can buy is a recessed ceiling tile bracket. These are for ceiling tiles where there's a drop ceiling where the, the actual cardboard um, uh, tile actually comes down below or equal to the level of the T-bar. And this is a way of mounting the APs to that one as well. All right, let's go ahead and move on now. Let's go ahead and take a look again at our, talk about our AP here, the XV2-21X. Remember this new AP is a dual radio two by two with one gigabit uplink port, uh, managed by CN Maestro on premises or CN Maestro cloud. And it has a flexible and adaptable installation method. Very unique with this new ceiling mount AP. So thank you very much for watching and I appreciate your time. Hope you enjoy installing this new access point from Cambium Networks. Thank mm -hmm. you.